just so you know I only have eyes for you I see the feelings mutual Good morning, average homesteaders. Today we're going to plant potatoes. The only question is, is it potatoes or potatoes? And does that really matter? Okay, today we're going to plant potatoes. And uh, first of all, let's talk about potatoes. Now there's many different types of potatoes you can plant. And there are several different ways to acquire them. Now, uh, probably about the easiest way to uh, plant potatoes and acquire them is to go to a local store or order online what they refer to as seed potatoes. Now, they come in very di various different types, shapes, sizes, brands. Uh, you can get them from stores like Walmart, Lowe's tractor supply uh, you name it you can find seed potatoes all over the place in early spring now uh, these two particular bags have a uh, different type of potatoes in them and uh, they were relatively cheap it was $3.98 a bag and there was approximately three seed potatoes inside now you can also acquire your potatoes from uh, what you normally buy from a store to eat. Uh, they will grow relatively fine. Uh, they do take a lot longer for eyes, which are these sprouts, to come out of them. Uh, Store-bought potatoes generally have a sprout inhibitor that is put on them to make them last a little bit longer in your cupboard shelf wherever you store them now with if you put the potatoes in sunlight and heat they will eventually start sprouting eyes and you can plant them the only one thing that you might want to keep in mind is store-bought potatoes with the sprout inhibitor on them will grow but in some cases your yield will be less than if you just purchased seed potatoes. But either way, it will work. Now I'm gonna use two different methods of planting potatoes this year. Uh, the first method is the row method. As you can see, the row method is basically trenched on both sides, the dirt piled up. And I currently have three rows set up that way. And then I have what I would refer to as a modified root, root stout method. And uh, I'll explain that when we get to planting in the trench here. Now when planting potatoes, you want to uh, plant your potatoes with the eyes or the growth pointed up. Uh, you can plant them any which way you want. It just inhibits the growth of potato. It takes longer for them to reroute uh, their growth. But it would work, but it's not desirable. Now, some people take their potatoes and they'll cut them. Some uh, will cut them like this potato. They could get maybe four, four cuts off of them. Uh, all you need is a section that has some eyes on it that are already starting to grow. And then you take a knife and cut and leave a little bit of the meat of the potato with it. But uh, before you plant them, you would have to leave them out in the sun for a day, day and a half, two days for that area to crust over, scab over. If you don't and you plant them, there's a high chance of the potatoes becoming diseased or just rot. So uh, today we're uh, just planting a whole potato. I have enough for 
what I intend on doing with them, so I'm not going to cut any of my potatoes. Okay, when planting the potatoes, as I said before, you want to plant them with the eyes up. You want to plant them six to eight inches down into the dirt. So what you would do is dig down approximately six or eight inches, place the potato in, eyes up, and then rebury. It's as simple as that. Now with your spacing for potatoes, you want them to be 10 to 12 inches apart to help them grow and not uh, entangle with the potato next to them. Uh, or takes about, for most potatoes, it takes about 80 to 100 days for them to be ready to be harvested. Now when you have a potato that has extremely large eyes or the process of growing is quite advanced for a seed potato, that's just fine. It's all the better. It's just recommended that you plant them just a little bit deeper than if they just had smaller eyes. Now we have all the rows planted, except from those two potatoes right there I just noticed for some reason. Okay, now that we have all the potatoes planted in the rows, we're going to work on our last row, which I had mentioned before, this is a what I refer to as a modified Ruth Stout method. Uh, there's quite a few videos out there on how to do this type of planting. And there's ones that are uh, do exactly like Ruth did and recommended. And there's ones that do modification of it. I think it's a personal preference. And I think you should need to take in consideration what type of soil you have in your region on how you plant potatoes in the first place. So I chose this method due to my soil that we have around here. Uh, we have a rocky clay type soil. It has been amended to a point, but it's still quite a bit in its natural state at this time as this garden progresses over the years that'll change but that's something that will take a long time if you want to do it the natural way versus bringing in a bunch of topsoil and uh, compost and amend it all at once I prefer to do it naturally I don't use any fertilizers additives to my garden I have chickens and I uh, use uh, what is around leaves the leaves that fall in the fall I bring out to the garden and I burn them mulch them in I compost I use uh, the droppings from the chickens grass clippings you name it what can be readily found is what I use to each their own but this is my method. Okay, let's get started on planting these. 
Okay, all the potatoes are placed in a trench that's about about an inch and a half deep. And I'm just gonna bring the dirt up to them and just barely cover them. I don't wanna bury them deep with this method, just enough to, to cover the potato itself. eyes that are protruding out, I won't cover them. Now this is still, we still have a slight danger of frost in my region. Pretty much to the end of it where you're pretty safe. But like underground things you can definitely plant and not worry about it. But uh, like my peppers and tomatoes, Stuff like that, I'm not going to plant them until getting pretty close to Memorial Day. Okay, step one is done. Step two involves some mulch. Now, with this method, it helps prevent weed growth and it, uh, it will hold moisture in the ground for your potatoes to grow. Now this hay is aged a little bit, it's a little bit weathered. Some people use straw, you can use hay, either one will work. I know some people worry about hay, that it can be weedy and produce weeds in some aspects. This is what I have on hand. This is what I use. Quite a few other people use it. And there you go. I'm going to probably add a little bit more hay to this, but that's pretty much the finished project. Now, having the hay on there will also help volunteer weeds from growing that blow in from dandelions. Uh, there are some weeds that are pretty resilient and uh, can still grow anyways, but you'll be able to pick them out pretty easily and literally pick them out. Okay, thank you for coming along while we planted potatoes.